So one of the big ways we planned on saving uh, some money on our way uh, to South Dakota and really just full-time traveling in general is to take advantage of uh, Passport America. So we joined for, it's $44 a year to join um, and that gives you 50% off on camp campgrounds that are part of the Passport America program. There are hundreds of campgrounds all over the United States, Canada, and Mexico. There are some restrictions that go with it. Um, for instance, if you plan on using it in Florida, forget about it in the winter time. Um, they, they impose restrictions certain days when you can and can't use the Passport America discount. Um, it seems like in general most of them are like Sunday through Wednesday or Thursday or, or during the week. Um, so you basically the, the slower times when the campground may you know may be empty or not as full uh, and it's a good way for them to, to fill up some spaces. Um, so with that being said, we found this uh, this spot in Georgia. It's Towns Bluff RV Park. Uh, it's actually called the Towns Bluff RV Park and Heritage Center. We're down here by the river right now. There's a boat ramp. Um, there's a lot of trails here you can walk. I mean, it really does have kind of a state park feel to it. The place is just, it's just amazing. And we pay $12.50 a night to stay here. So it's valid Sunday through Thursday. So this one is one of the more lenient ones. Um, they'll give you five days here that you can stay for $12.50 a night, which is just an incredible bargain. Hey, there's Dylan. Dylan's down there skipping rocks in the river, so. I actually was uh, able to skip one. Also, this, this park that we're at only has water and electric, but a lot of them actually have full hookups. And again, different ones have different rules. A lot of them are only valid for one or two night stays using the Passport America and they have an app that goes along with it, super user friendly. You can look at the notes in each park and see what the rules are. Um, so this is our first experience using Passport America and we're a big fan already. Yeah, I mean, $44 a year, I mean, if you use it two or three times, it's gonna pay for itself. I mean, um, we only stayed one night here at this spot. So out of that $44, we've already made $12.50 of it back. Uh, and we plan on using it quite a bit more between here and you know when we get to South Dakota, and then uh, I'm sure we'll use it, you know, um, when we travel from South Dakota to our next to our next spot. So, um, just a great deal. Would highly recommend if you're if you are doing a lot of traveling and you, and you need some places to stop and you don't want to spend a lot of money on the private RV parks, uh, definitely check out Passport America. It's it's been a super good deal for us so far, and uh, we're happy that we that we got on board with it. Gonna give you guys a little footage of around Towns Bluff uh, RV Park and Heritage Center.
What's up, Dylan? What? Uh, this park is located about eight miles north of Hazelhurst, Georgia. So if you're ever in the neighborhood, uh, if you're ever passing through, you need a place to stop, um, definitely, definitely check this place out. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. All right, till next time, catch you guys down the road.